Breaking news. It's happening. Recently, um, from the north, a picture has emerged showing Peter Obi's son, you know, standing on the flag of Nigeria, disdaining it and, you know, standing on top of it. And this happened in Germany. Uh, from the north, we saw that um, they said that is Peter Obi's son, a man who many of the youths seemingly, you know, um, you know, uh, many of the youths uh, feel ha wants to give an opportunity collecting their PVC to ensure that, you know, he becomes Nigerian's president because they feel he will bring about new perspective and leadership and probably bring about a better Nigeria. And so this young man standing on the Nigerian uh, uh, flag, many have said it's Peter Obi's son. And all of a sudden, you know, what, what that means is that is it discredit to Peter Obi saying that ah, his own children, his own family does not believe in the one in the Nigeria he wants to propose. And then um, they, you know, did not said Peter Obi will bring about a Biafran Republic and what have you. So those saying and those things are on ground. And before you could say Jack Robinson, uh, you know, it has started spreading. It started from the north. But guess what? The young man standing on the, the young man wearing um, uh, the independent people of Biafra's uniform and standing on the Nigerian's map is not, I repeat, is not Peter Obi's son. Okay? It's not Peter Obi's son. And so uh, clarification has come. So in case you have seen a wrong picture please know that it's not peter Obi's son please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe this is mr peter Obi's son here obi obiye says as he shares photo of peter Obi, his wife and children recently a photo of a young man wearing an ipob t-shirt dreadlocks and standing on the nigerian flag on the roadside surfaced online however it's the the said follow, follower was alleged to be peter obison and a member of the indigenous pool of biafra ipob in the light of the following happening a stern supporters of the labor party presidential candidate party presidential candidate flag bearer jack Obie, took to his official facebook page to share a photo of Peter Obi, his wife and children. As he said, this is Peter Obi's son's year. He does not keep that kind of hair and does not live in Germany. According to him, he noted that the young man standing on the left hand side of a lady said to be his sister is the principal son. Speaking further, Mr. Jack Obie who seemed to be a strong supporter of Peter Obi online campaign team, made it known he does not wear such kind of hair coats and also does not based in Germany, where the picture was taken to have been snapped, claimed to have been snapped. In conclusion, he however stated that Nigerians should not allow themselves to be deceived as this is a propaganda that started from the north telling Nigerian youth, this is the Peter Obi you want to support. His son stands on the map and disdain it. So this is what is happening. Um, a news spread, if you can see the young man standing on the Nigerian flag, allegedly they said the picture was taken in Germany. Um, what we are now hearing again, they're saying Peter Obi's son does not live in Germany. In fact, he has not gone to Germany before. He may have been to other places, but definitely not Germany. Yes. And he said, what's happening right now is, you know, to discredit and to make people feel that, oh, Peter Obi is going to start IPOB, is going to break the indigenous part of Biafra out of Nigeria when, you know, he becomes president and what have you. Well, this supporter has brought uh, clarity and light into what is going on and has shared a photo of Peter Obi's family, saying to everyone, this is his son. And if you take a very close look at the picture, it doesn't, I mean, the two people does not look anything alike, you see. So, guys, be careful what you hear out there. We keep telling you again, it's election period. You are going to hear all kinds of things, proposition, you know, to discredit whoever you have in mind, but be prepared. That's why we say go to their archive. Go and check what sort of a person is this man or woman is 
that I want to give my vote to, I want to support. If really, truly speaking, it's going to be anything to go by, say, you know, um, our vote is going to count. And um, we, when we vote, I know that they've never been transparency in Nigeria's, um, you know, Nigeria's uh, election before. But I want to give a benefit of a doubt that with the new electoral act, probably this might, this one, okay, may, if you can, you can see my choice of words, I'm picking them intentionally, may be different, you know. So we're, we're just watching to see how some of these things will play out and the best, may the best, you know, for us. May we get the best, okay? May we get the best. May we get the best person because all the political parties have concluded their, uh, you know, their presidential primaries. And what we are seeing now, all that is going on, if, if the election holds for any reason, election holds and um, there is truly an election, what will happen is that, you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it will be one of those persons who have indicated interest to become Nigerian's president that will become the president. It will be one of those persons. It will certainly, definitely be one of those persons. Okay, so that's why every one of us must continue to speak out the truth and not, you know, double between opinions. We must be very clear on our options and know exactly what we want. We must not... We must not uh, uh, begin to, you know, we must be very intentionally prepared and ready to ensure that the very person, the very man or woman who we think has got what it takes is the person we support to become Nigerian's president. If we don't do that, there is going to be serious problem. Okay, look at the Buhari we once thought was a man who had a heart for the people and could possibly become Nigerian's president. What happened? He, he treated us, you know, he threw, he threw the nation, you know, he threw the nation into the dust. And today you can see all that is happening. So Nigerians, we cannot afford to have another Buhari as the president of the country. We just can't afford it. You and I just can't afford it. Okay. I mean, we've suffered enough. The last, the last uh, seven years has been some of the worst times in our, in our nation. And so we don't want the repeat of that at all. Okay, we don't want a repeat of that at all. So Nigerians, it is high time we begin to stand up for what is right and do what is absolutely necessary to get out of what is happening now. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Have a good day. God bless you. Bye for now.